never dreamed I could cry so hard. I ain't like a man. I could fly like a bird someday. At a place where I could land. I could have sworn we were all loving. Ain't that what you say? At that time in the 70s, in 1975, the winter was so cold. Women here finally were able to wear pants. Up until that time, girls could not wear pants on campus. I know, you're looking around going, wow. But that was the time. So, but it went, like I said, the winter was so cold, they lobbied for it, they finally got it. So they were able to wear jeans. What a great day for womanhood then. But dancing. Dancing was for a large part of especially Southern people. Uh, growing up in a Church of Christ or a Baptist or anything atmosphere, Catholics know. But uh, it was kind of like, we get to do this and we get to call it choreography. You know, it's kind of like getting away with something. We're so smart. This is kind of on the edge, you know. It started in uh, 1964. And at that point, Greek life was very different on our campus. And there were massive unisex clubs that weren't nearly as um, engaged as our clubs are now. Uh, I mean, there, were, there might be three or 400 people in a club, and, but it, was, it actually came from students, an idea for the students came up with. I saw a lot of people in the crowd that I was I was in charge of singing around when they were in the show. And one of the <laughs> one of the dads is, that I ran into was Blake Parker. And I hugged Blake and I went, Oh, my favorite host, you know. Well I've got a lot of favorites, but I did I do love Blake and he's very talented and he and Angela have three boys who've all been key players on the Singarama stage. And Hudson is, is number three. <laughs> and he was, a, he was a host this year. So that's a lot of fun to see, you know, people come back and, and their kids are, maybe they're on the back row, or maybe they have a lead in a show, or maybe they're host, you know. But that's, that's always fun. So my parents both came to Lipscomb University um, in the 80s and uh, they were pretty sure sophomores or my mom was a junior, my dad was a sophomore and um, they had never seen each other, hadn't really um, crossed paths at all and Singarama rolled around and their two clubs, Omega Nu and uh, Delta Delta were put in the same group and they uh, met each other during that and started dating um, right after. and. The rest is history, and so it's kind of a funny um, thing we can have in our family that uh, Singarama is truly the reason that I am sitting here today. Um, <laughs> but it's just such a good thing to bring people together, and you never know who you're going to meet, you never know who you're going to cross paths with, and the relationships that you can build uh, through it, just a fun thing like that is really cool to see every year. So, um, But the musical theater side of storytelling is really cool, and so I think when people discover that they can be on stage and uh, take part with their friends too in like telling a story and doing something bigger than themselves. Uh, it's a really exciting opportunity and it's always fun to get dressed up and made up and the lights are on you and um, it's just a, it's like a really unique opportunity that not everybody gets and it's easy access with Singarama because like all your friends do it and you know your club's doing it so it's just easy access and uh, a really good time to discover what a part of musical theater could be like or just performing in general. I 
really am, in a way, surprised that it's lasted as long as it has. This is 55 years. Um, and you all are so much, your schedules are so different. They're night classes, they're internships. I, I don't know how people have the time to do it, so I think it really speaks to the experience. It's not just the competition. The creative process, starting with a title, literally with a title that you may have drawn out of a hat, and um, coming up with a show that you're really proud of and that people laugh and cry this year <laughs> and you know it's just really neat to see i could guarantee you 99 percent that this will be a memory you will have for the rest of your life and there's not a lot of those